Hey, Sam from GMAS here today. I am going to walk you through the Reply Project, our new tool that helps you plow through your emails 10 times faster than you've ever done before. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Do you waste too much time every single day going through your inbox to respond to emails? Of course you do. It's one of the only universal truths of the modern human condition. That's why here at GMAS, we, and by we, I mean this fella, that was him at the Super Bowl two years ago, and actually this is the Super Bowl of specialized email response tools, so it tracks. Anyway, we created a brand new approach to responding to your emails and getting through your inbox. It's called the Reply Project, and it's designed to get you through your emails 10 times faster. You see all your emails open on one screen where you can type quick replies or use templates or chat GPT for even faster responses. It's really, really, really easy to get started, and I'm gonna walk you through now. Getting started with the Reply Project. Step one, go to the Reply Project page at gmas.co slash reply, or even easier, type reply.new into your browser, and click the button to sign in with your Google account. Though you're not seeing it here, you may need to give the standard round of Google permissions, even if you've done that already to use GMAS, this is separate. The Reply Project will then open and show you every email in your inbox. For each email, you'll see the subject line, who it's from, who it's to, and when there was last activity in the email thread. Now, as you can see, some of the email subjects have a red outline around them. Those are situations where you were the last person to respond in the thread, so they probably don't need another message from you. Now, let's type a reply. Click into the box next to any email and type your response to that email. If you highlight text, you can add formatting. And when you're done, then you can hit the send reply button to send that email. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts of Control Enter on Windows or Command Enter on Mac. When you send, you see the Reply Project now minimizes this email. And if you head back to your Gmail inbox, you'll see the message you just sent in the Sent folder. Now, we could fly through the response process like that alone, but we can do this even faster. Templates and ChatGPT. The Reply Project uses templates and ChatGPT to help you send even faster responses. To use a template, click on the envelope icon in the reply box for an email. Click to create a new template, then type in your template. Now you can select it by clicking that envelope icon again. It will replace what's ever in that text box. So if you want to insert it at the cursor instead of overwriting what's in there, you can do that by hovering over the template in the list and clicking the pen icon. That could be good for say, adding a Calendly link to your messages. Here, I'll create a template that's just my Calendly link. And now I'll insert it into an email at the cursor. You can reuse templates you make on future emails during this session of the Reply Project and in future sessions. And you can clean up your list by removing old templates you're not using. Just hover over one and click on the garbage can icon. Now onto the other icon in the reply box, which is for chat GPT. Click on that icon and you'll see a list of prompts for common responses. Choose one and chat GPT will write the response to your email for you. You can also type in your own chat GPT prompt as needed. And now that prompt will be available to you on future emails as well. Archiving your messages. The Reply Project has an archiving function if you're aiming for inbox zero, or if you just like keeping your inbox or this interface a little bit cleaner. As you can see, each of the emails has an archive button above it. When you click that button on an email, the Reply Project archives that message back in Gmail, and it minimizes it here on the screen. You can also choose to archive your messages after you send them, which is a popular technique for keeping a clean inbox. To set that global preference, use the Archive After Sending checkbox near the top of the screen. Using the search bar. The most popular use for the Reply Project so far is people getting through the messages in their inbox, but that's not the only option. The search box at the top of the Reply Project works exactly like the search bar in Gmail. So you can use any Gmail search operators. You could search by date or by label. You could search by attachment, by a word or phrase, or multiple words or phrase, whatever you want, to find a specific set of emails that you want to reply to. The Reply Project in GMAS. Good news if you're a GMAS user. I mean, besides the fact that you're using GMAS, which means your life is wonderful. Uh, GMAS and the Reply Project are integrated together, so you can respond to the replies to your cold email and mail merge campaigns. 
After you've sent a campaign in GMAS that got some responses, go to the GMAS dashboard and click on the number of replies for that campaign. Or go to the web-based report for that campaign and click on the number of replies there. Either way, you'll see a flyout panel on the right side of the screen showing your campaign replies. And there's a link at the top of that panel for the reply project. When you click that link, GMAS opens all the replies to your campaign in the reply project interface. Notice there's no search box here. We're just focused on the replies to that specific campaign. So now you can use the reply project to fire off quick responses. Time to get going. So that's the reply project in action. We've tried to make it as easy as possible to just log in and start knocking out replies fast. And then as you get more comfortable, you can use things like templates, chat GPT, archiving, searching, and the GMAS integration. You can get started at gmas.co slash reply, and frankly, you could probably get through your entire inbox worth of replies in a shorter amount of time than it took to watch this video. I do like to ramble.